welcome to the news in English live from Mogadishu with me I am Omar Noor the top headline is include Somali president is heading to Uganda for the 8th official visit since he was elected as president in May of this year Somali parliament is expected to hold a session on the approval of the new cabinet appointed by Somali Prime Minister Hamza Abdi Barre. Ethiopian government has claimed to, to have killed uh, at least uh, 800 al-Shabaab militants during uh, military operations in the region. You we'll also watch uh, that uh, US delegation is visiting Africa as tension between the African continent uh, and uh, the Russian is deteriorating. Welcome back to the news in detail. We begin with the visit by the Somali president to Uganda. Somali President His Excellency Hassan Sheikh Mohammed is expected to travel to Uganda for talks with his Ugandan counterpart Yuri Museveni in Kampala uh, this week. Uh, Somali President Hassan Sheikh Mohammed will be in Uganda next week uh, for two day state visit in a trip seen to drum up regional support and police peace in his ties as he enters the third month of his presidency according to the sources at the Uganda's foreign affairs ministry the Somali leader will hold a bilateral talks with his host president Yoweri Museveni on security investment trade and regional cooperation Uganda is crucial to Mogadishu's internal security as it is one of the five troop contributing countries to the African Union mission in Somalia which is currently building the country's security capacity Somali president uh, predecessor for major made a state visit to Uganda in 2018 and also attended Museveni's inauguration for the sixth term in May last year presidents of Uganda and Somalia are expected to preside at the joint Uganda and Somali investment and peace in summit in Kampala on August 9th and 10th about 300 delegates are expected to attend Ugandan ambassador to Somalia professor Samuel Chilio said the summit would provide a platform for the public private sector players uh, from the two countries to engage on how to ease the cost of doing the business and harness existing and future opportunities the summit will strengthen bilateral uh, cooperation in trade and investment between the two fraternal countries 
and the support of potential investors and the respective business communities with the required conductive business environment, he said. President Hassan Sheikh Mohammed this visit comes after Kenya, uh, where he held uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta uh, talks that uh, so they agreed iron out their diplomatic relations that had thought of the maritime and trade disputes. President Mahmoud will lift pan and mira imports from Kenya and permitted to be exported to Somalia. Last month, Somalia formally requested the East African community to consider its application as the eighth partner. Uh, President Hassan Sheikh Mohammed was a special guest at the summit in Arusha, Tanzania. Kenya has suffered another Al-Shabaab attack. Uh, at least uh, five Kenyan police officers were reportedly wounded on Thursday in an attack by Al-Shabaab militants in Mandera town near the Somali border. Police said one of the uh, police officers sustained a gunshot wound on the forehead while the other four sustained injuries as they jumped out of their patrol vehicles to take off. The officers were treated at Elwak Sub County Referral Hospital and uh, were discharged. The team, which was one of patrol, they were attacked and uh, managed to repulse the attackers who were armed with AK-47 rivals, police said in a statement. They were reinforced by another officer from the Kenyan Defense Forces, KDF, and uh, the General Service Unit in the area. Police said the attack occurred at the Pampa Ola stretch between Wargadud and El Wag district along the Somalia border, Somali. Uh, militant uh, group Al Shabaab has uh, stepped up attacks in Kenya for the past uh, few years. The police motor vehicle had a destroyed screen, shattered extort uh, pipe, damaged uh, just on the left uh, near the tire area on the bullet hole on the rear roof doors. On August 1st, uh, three police officers were injured in a pump attack on their camp at the El Ram. Uh, Katolo in Mandero area. It was the second uh, such attack by the militants on the anti-shock uh, theft unit base. Police said they attacked uh, the camp using uh, cigars, uh, pumps and allowed with gun attacks at 4 p.m. Three Kenyan police officers sustained uh, deep cuts as their fault of the incursion by Al-Shabaab militants. Uh, during the ambush, the team in the camp managed to, to repulse the attackers after about 20 minutes of gunfight. Witnesses told uh, the media that the attackers were about 50 and repulsed by the Kenyan military after carrying uh, airstrikes. Kenyan Defense Forces Chad had come to the rescue of the police officers came under Al-Shabaab attack while conducting uh, a security patrol along uh, the Somali border. This comes days after another team of security agents escaped uh, death narrowly after Heather alerted them of pumps on the road in Liboya, Kenyan Garissa. Uh, the team was using uh, Colon Liboya Road and the uh, Heathers have alerted the police of the pumps planted by Al-Shabaab along uh, the road. This prompted them to change the route and later alerted experts. The team visited the scene and established that two IEDs had been planted in the area and were discovered by the pump disposal officers.
Serbia said it has killed uh, over 800 Al-Shabaab militants uh, during a military operation along the Somalia border. In a statement uh, published uh, by the Ethiopian National News Agency, uh, uh, says uh, that the Ethiopian National Defense Forces have neutralized 800 Al-Shabaab fighters during uh, the operation that took place uh, in undisclosed location within the Somali regional state. National Defense Forces deployment had an acting security command post coordinator Major General Tasfeya uh, said the militant group Al Shabaab, which tried to infiltrate through the eastern Ethiopia, has been successfully thwarted by joint efforts of the security forces. Major General Tesfaya revealed that the attempt of the terrorist Al-Shabaab militant group try to enter the country from July 21st of this year was fully thwarted by the joint operation in the Somali region. According to him, foreign enemies who wanted to destabilize Ethiopia employed domestic uh, dark forces were killed when enemies believed their plot didn't work out as they had hoped, uh, General Tasfaya underscored uh, that they made a futile attempt uh, to reinforce uh, Al-Shabaab militants against uh, Kenyan behind the circle. The militant group Al-Shabaab launched attacks in Kenya as well as the Uganda since uh, they have emerged in Somalia just a decade ago. That's all for our today's English News live from Magadisho with me. I am Omar Noor and the rest of the team here in our studio will leave you by for now.